In today's video, we'll be talking about what I would call the best free video editor for Android that leaves no watermark. If you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. When I was about starting this YouTube journey, I was divided between whether using my laptop to edit the videos or using my phone. So because of that, it led me into going into the Play Store to look for the best possible Android video editor, preferably free, that will enable me, you know, start doing a thing or two before I can now finally decide on which of the options to go for. And I believe in subsequent videos, we are going to do some comparison, comparing some other highly rated video editors and comparing them with VLLO. And the main problem I, I encounter with most of them, as long as they are free, most of them end up leaving a watermark on your video. And of course, it's not everyone that will want to have a, a watermark left on their videos, especially myself. I did not want that at all. So I had to look for the best free video editor that would not leave a watermark and I settled with VLLO. So let's jump into a screen recording of how to actually make use of VLLO to edit your videos. And I'm very sure you'll be impressed with the results. To make use of VLLO, of course, you go to Play Store and you download it. Once you are done with the downloading, you, you load it. It takes you to this screen where you choose whether you want to create a video or you want to create a GIF. So let's hit on create video. Then we pick the clips that we are likely going to use. We are going to use those two. So we hit the right arrow. It takes us to the next screen where you choose the, the aspect ratio of your video and other settings. Of course, I have selected 16 by 9, so you click the tick right button there. Now, now that we've come into the actual work area in VLLO, you see you can add background music, you can add sound effect, you can add voice. That's in a case where you have voice, your voiceover in a different file. You can add a sticker, you can add a label, that is text label. You can add a template, you can still add another layer of text and then you can add an, a caption. So it is quite very, very robust. VLLO is very, very robust. And there are so many things you can do with this app, apart from just cutting and stitching videos together. In fact, this is the most robust Android app for video editing that I have seen. So let's see what we can do with these two um, video clips. Of course, we have our intro here and we have another video clip that I did here. So let's see, we can add a transition here. Let's say fade so that there will be that seamless transition from, from the intro into the actual video. So I want to do a bit of a speed ramp at the beginning, from the beginning to this point. I hit done to move on to the next tab. So I tap on the video, split, and then pick the video I want to speed up. And I speed it up by, speed it up by two times so that the speed ramp will be very obvious. Uh -huh. Then we slow it down at that point. Then we will insert another speed ramp from here, split, and then I'll add another four, four times speed ramp to the end. So the idea of having all this is just to show you what you can do with VLLO. So you can load in multiple clips, you can adjust the speed, you can split, you can reorder your videos, you can add background, you can resize, you can do so many things. So let's um, add some text. Let's add text. Of course, there are different text templates that you can use. Let's just uh, pick a random text template and edit it so you can add whatever text you want to add. So you can add ra any random text you want to add and you can resize the text, you can rotate, you can add whatever at any place and you can adjust the duration where the text will appear, okay? You can change the fonts of the text. There are different kinds of fonts. You can even load fonts from file. Currently, I do not have any fonts file in my in my device. So, but you can load fonts from file. You can download fonts and then upload it to this app and still use it to beautify your, your video editing. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. We play from the beginning. You see the text appears and disappears. So we can add so many of these things. You can add, let's throw in a sticker there. Let's throw in a sticker on the left hand side and we specify how long the sticker is going to last. Done. We've added text already. We've added a motion sticker. 
you can add audio let's let's throw in some background music let's just pick one from from their music library i don't want to bring in any other form of music to avoid um, copyright issues so let's add this one so you can use the handle on the left to move the music to wherever you want it to be and if you want to duplicate the music to you know ensure that it plays till the end of the clip and of course your soundtrack will not play beyond the end of the video and you can control volume so you hit on the volume you can decide how how loud you want your background music to be so in this case we leave it at uh, 70 percent we hit done and we hit done again you can add picture in picture in the case of picture in picture you can add both video or image picture in picture that is if you want to throw in a logo you can as well do that as an image throw in a logo on the left hand side and extend it to cover the part of the video that you want it to cover so in this case we want it to just appear after the intro and we can set the opacity if you want it to be 50 percent visible or 100 percent visible for that particular logo you know as you, as i am scrolling this you see it is getting more and more transparent so let's leave it at 100 percent and we hit done so now we've added uh, we've added an image picture in picture we've added the main video we've added sound we've added sticker we've added text we can adjust we can adjust our video if you want to increase brightness you want to reduce brightness you want to increase contrast or saturation let's just bump up the saturation a little bit for no reason just bump up the saturation a little bit it makes the colors to to come out a little bit uh, to become much more pronounced so once you are done with the adjustments the filter adjustment that you want to do you can now move it around to affect the part of the video that you want the filter to affect and then hit done so now we've added filter we've added picture in picture we've added text we've added sticker we've added audio and there are so many other things that you can do and we are going to do go into more of an in-depth tutorial in another video that is talking about specific features and uh, how far it can affect the final production of your video so once you are done you can play it to see what the video looks like at the end once you've made all the necessary adjust adjustments that you need to make you have to hit export and uh, during export at the point of exporting you can specify the quality you can even export at 4k so it is that powerful it, you can export at low resolution medium high 2k and even 4k so but i'm going to leave it at 1080p which is high resolution and we'll hit export and it's going to take a few minutes or a few seconds to export and as you can see there there's no watermark actually they'll require you to watch an ad while you're before you you can export your video of course they have to support themselves somehow so they will require you to watch an ad before exporting the video and that is how they are able to maintain the platform but besides that i feel that vllo is a perfect video editor for someone who just wants to dabble into video editing without having to make substantial investments in computer and high powered video editing software so video has been exported successfully Now that you have seen what we've been able to do with VLLO, I believe that you will be impressed and you want to try it out also. If this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.